It's now been some time since Panasonic released the 70 to 300, and I think they did a really good job in delivering a versatile telephoto lens that's lightweight and affordable. There's also the 70 to 200 f 2.8s Pro, and that's a truly incredible lens, but it's super heavy and very pricey. And then there's also the 70 to 200 f4, but that's still about 500 pounds more than the 70 to 300. And although the 70 to 200 f4 does have a faster constant aperture compared to the 70 to 300 with a variable 4.5 to 5.6 aperture, the 70 to 300 will give you a considerable reach advantage. So I took the 70 to 300 with me on a recent trip to South Africa and in today's video I just wanted to share my thoughts on this lens as well as share a bunch of real world sample images. Let's just circle back around to one of the points I made earlier about this lens and that's how light it is for a telephoto lens. It's only 790 grams compared to the 7200 f4 which is 985 grams and then compare that to the 2.8 version which is a whopping 1.5 kilograms. So in comparison, this makes the 70 to 300 a solid choice if you want to save on weight and travel with a telephoto lens in your camera bag. However, the weight of this lens is not the only positive thing about it. The image quality is also amazing. And with longer lenses as well, stabilization is a must since it becomes increasingly hard to get steady shots. And thankfully, the optical image stabilization in this lens is as good as it always is with Panasonic gear. This lens is as sharp as you could ever ask for, and the variable aperture didn't really slow me down at all when I was using it in the South African bush. I think the great thing with telephoto lenses is that they compress the background nicely, so that even at slight apertures, you can still deliver a really nice amount of separation. So please don't let that variable aperture put you off. I also found the autofocus to be pretty decent with this lens too, and my hit rate was actually very high, even when photographing moving subjects like wild animals. And as we all know by now, native Panasonic lenses always seem to be the best for AF performance across the board, and the 70-300 definitely isn't an exception to that. I genuinely think that this lens would be a fantastic choice for anyone who shoots sport or wildlife and wants to keep their kit as lightweight as possible without compromising on image quality. If I had to choose a telephoto lens for my kit out of all the lenses that are available for the Elmont currently, I think the 70 to 300 would be my choice since for the price, it delivers everything that I could ever see myself needing in this category of shooting. Granted, there are pros for the 70 to 200 lenses, but ultimately I can see the 70 to 300 being the better option for most people out there. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it somewhat useful and sending or interesting. And if you did, then please subscribe to the channel because I do make a lot of videos around the L Mount and Panasonic gear in general. So if that's your vibe, then this channel will be for you. So yeah, thanks again for watching and hopefully I shall see you in the next one.